Disney Parks to immerse guests in Marvel Cinematic Universe with Avengers Campus, Spider-Man Ride, and new Guardians attractions. United Comics Universe. A universe for fans. From pages to pictures, we, we are, are comics. comics. Please note, Hydra have been unsubscribing UCU family members. These are some of the reports that I have been receiving from the United Comic Universe family members. So please check to see if you are still subscribed to the channel. Also share our videos to others so they can see how awesome and different our channel is. Also like up. Each like up is a morale boost to all that is in the fight to take down Hydra. Hit the notification bell so you can be notified on the upcoming comic news. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for joining us. Please tap that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can be a part of the fight to take down Hydra. This is Jonin Show, your host here at UCU, United Comics Universe. This article from Deadline.com, Deadline.com, and it's by uh, Dino Ray Ramos. This is on August the 25th. Let's see what's happening. Sounds like they're making a theme park based on our favorite thing, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Let's see what we get. Let's get into this. Avengers Assemble! Marvel is taking over Disney theme parks in the most immersive way. A preview of the new Marvel themed lands was given earlier at the D23 Expo. But Disney has now released more details about what they have planned to make park visitors feel as if they are actually in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Okay, that sounds amazing. As reported earlier this weekend, an Avengers campus is set to open in 2020 at the Disney California Adventure Park in Anaheim. We all know what that is, taking over the space originally occupied by a bug's life. Here, the Avengers will be recruiting the next generation of superheroes. The same experience will open later on in the year at Disneyland Paris. Both campuses will be home to the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, also known as Web, which will feature the first Disney ride through attraction with Spider-Man. Despite the Disney-Sony divorce, it will give guests a taste of what it's like to have web-slinging powers like Spidey as they collect Spider-Bots that have run amok Sounds very much like the interactive Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters attraction. Hmm. Intriguing. California will be home to the Avengers headquarters, which will be the future entrance to a brand new e-ticket attraction where guests will fly alongside the Avengers in an epic adventure to Wakanda. What? And beyond. When it opens in the next phase of development for campus, this will open to an opportunity, this will open to an opportunity to fight alongside the Avengers against some of the most powerful villains, just like that amazing battle in Endgame. Wow. Other attractions housed in the Avengers campus will be the PIM Test Kitchen, where PIM Technologies is using the latest innovations to grow and shrink food. <laughs> Speaking of PIM, Ant Man and the Wasp. We'll be interacting with guests on the campus along with Iron Man, Doctor Strange, members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, as well as heroes from Wakanda and Asgard. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm totally pumped so far, so uh, that's when I like to say, you can just go ahead and take my money, because I'm there. In Paris, the Avengers campus will include the art of Marvel at Disney's Hotel, New York which will open next summer. The hotel will celebrate 80 years of Marvel art and artists, with more than 300 stunning pieces on display. Rooms will include one-of-a-kind themed suites featuring favorite superheroes like Spider-Man and guests can even meet these legends in a dedicated space. Wow. Over at Epoch in Florida, there will be a new world discovery section which will host an other world showcase pavilion there will be a galaxarium which is a planetarium like exhibition that explores the similarities and mysteries of the formation of earth's galaxy and xandar a local in the guardians of the galaxy films 
Here guests will explore treasures of Xandar. World Discovery will also be home to Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, a storytelling coaster that rotates 360 degrees to focus your attention on the action, including the first reverse launch on a Disney coaster. Wow. Well, Jonah, show opinion on that. Um, hype. Super hype, super excited. If you're a Marvel fan, you're going to love this. Just wanted to make sure that y'all knew about this. I'm really just finding out about it. But it sounds really, really amazing. So, we can go immerse ourselves in the Marvel world and enjoy ourselves. Man, that's going to be quite amazing. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. What would be a nice intriguing thing to do, let's just say some of the loose ends that we've seen in Marvel or some of the Easter eggs that never come to fruition that they know that never will. Perhaps, you know, some things we wanted to know about, like um, if they're never going to show what happened, maybe they'll do this in the Nova movie, but if, they, if they're never going to show what happened when Thanos, you know, took the power gem from Xandar. So he might have had to deal with Nova. He definitely had to deal with Nova Prime because, you know, that's where that's where it was. Xandar, Nova Prime, that's the um, the whole military government thing there. The, you know, the, the fighters that was in the sky trying to help put up a defensive grid to protect their planet and everything like that. But uh, Ronin was too much for them with the power gem. Yeah, well, Thanos had to go there and decimate that place in order to get the power gem as far as I, I can imagine from based on the information that we have so far in MCU. However, I think something like that would be great. Show us things that we could have seen, but they didn't, you know, select that way to go. So maybe um, pick up some of the pieces. Some, an experience that you can only get at these parks, but is also a part of the MCU. So you're getting to find out more about the story by physically going there in person and immersing yourself in the story Instead of um, just hearing talks about, yeah, we could have did this, we could have did that, but we didn't go that way because of this, 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 and that. You can actually go there and experience some of the events that happened in the MCU, but w where a film was never made about it. That would be pretty intriguing. That would be very intriguing. If that is even possible to set something like that up. It might be too complicated. I'm not really sure. But this was a report that came from Deadline. Want to let y'all know about that. That's a new Marvel experience. More than just going to the movie. You can immerse yourself in the entire world of Marvel. It looked like that's what they're going for. I mean, you can go to Avengers headquarters. You can go to Wakanda. It's going to be amazing. And with something like that, it might actually be worth going to the different parks. To experience different parts of the Marvel Cinematic Universe in person that you can't do in one park. You have to go to multiple parks, so... That might be some promotion for people to actually want to travel and go to different Marvel theme parks. So that that would be pretty amazing. So imagine this. Um, I don't know if you ever heard about it, but uh, Elon Musk is supposed to be inventing a new travel system where you pretty much take a rocket up into the air and then it just comes back down somewhere else, basically. So in, in talking about like 20 minutes, you can go pretty much anywhere in the world. So if you know you're desiring some like nice fresh real authentic uh food from somewhere you can just take a 20 minute trip poof get your eat on and then take a trip back so that's something you can you can travel to another country in the same day back and forth quickly you know what i'm saying or as a relative that you haven't been able to visit or something like that you can just hop on a rocket poop poop land where you need to go so that would be pretty amazing Great way to travel. Great way to, to uh, see all these parks if that ever come to fruition. Wonderful. Marvel Cinematic Universe is doing it. Disney's doing it. Wonderful. I can't wait to see this. It's going to be a great experience. If anybody else is going, let me know down below if you can. And do not forget to please subscribe, hit that like button, and get notified. Because we need you. Join the family. Give us your support. And we're going to give you everything you need as far as comic related. This has been Jonin Show. An honor and a pleasure as always to serve you. Thank you for tuning in. And you know that we are.
Comics. United Comic Universe store is now open where you can get awesome gear from leggings to hoodies. When you feel a little cold at night and the fireplace is just not working for you, drink some of your delicious hot chocolate in your UCU mug. Drink it up. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, wait. When your feet is feeling a little cold at night, put on your United Comic Universe socks to get the warmness only the United Comic Universe socks can give you. Are you ready to gear up and take on Hydra? Well, the links is down below. Hit those links to gain access to all the awesome gear where you can join the fight to help take down Hydra. This has been United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics. So, you like the video? Duh! That is why they're here, because they like the video. <laughs> awesome! So you subscribe, like, share, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. And also leave a comment down below. Also click one, or two, or three, or one of these playlists is going to be put somewhere around here. So you'll see them <laughs> to get more comic news. This has been another awesome video brought to you by United Comic Universe. Remember, we are comics.